Hi guys, um, it's me, Cece. So today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of my IVF meds that I got today. So um, as I'm unboxing, I'll be talking so it won't be weird. Um, but today I had an appointment um, with the IVF doctor and I am seeing Aspire Fertility, Dr. Stewart. He's great. Um, I work for HCA um, and we refer to him and their practice all the time. So today I was told the injections that I'll be taking when I'm going to be starting along with, um, you know, the process of what it's going to be like. So this morning, um, my doctor's office sent over the medications to Alto Pharmacy. That's the pharmacy that I have to use uh, per my insurance. Um, and literally they sent them in this morning and they delivered them for free um, this afternoon. So I'm opening everything just now. <clears throat> so biohazard um, dispenser for the needles, which is good because there'll be a lot of those. Um, this is the and I am, I'm in the healthcare field, but I am not good at pronouncing the weird names of medications. So this is the Menupur, Menopur, M-E-N-O-P-U-R. So I'll be taking 150 um, units of this subcutaneously. So I'll be doing this every day, same thing. Um, Again, so the this is the actual solution. So for the for the menu pour, it's a solution, and then it also has the um, the the powder that you're gonna mix with it every day. So I was told to do this at um, in the nighttime, so evening, um, probably about six p.m. So these are the little uh, Q caps that you actually put on the vials. And it's a lot easier so you'll just put it on there and be able to mix it and actually give the injection with just that little bitty old needle another menu pour um and so azithromycin so i got one and my husband got one and they want us to start taking these so i'll take one closer to my retrieval which will be next week I mean, I'm sorry, the week after the 18th, and my husband will have to start his on tomorrow. And so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm assuming for, um, well, not I'm, I'm not assuming, but this is what the nurse told us to prevent infection um, from his semen analysis, not semen analysis, but from his semen specimen, because we're actually gonna be doing PGT testing. So our embryos will have to be, um, biopsied and frozen um, and then once we get those results back that's when we'll be able to uh, transfer so some needles and it actually says on here syringes for the menu pour so that's good at least i'll know what's with what and then oh this is cool so um the in here there's the alcohol swabs and the little candy <laughs> I have no idea what this little thing is for. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm sure it says it on here. Oh, something to help ease the ouch. We're here to support you in every step of the journey. We'd like you to have this shot blocker that's been proven to minimize the pain associated with needles. Wow. So apparently you just put it on the skin like that. I have never seen this. Hmm. A shot blocker. <laughs> okay. Well, I've seen it all. I, I never heard of that. I haven't even seen that in any of the videos that I've already looked at. So this is the stuff that I'll be able to keep out. And then there's this pouch of what keep refrigerated. So I gotta take this 
refrigerator right now. Ooh, and it comes with a whole bunch of ice packs. And meds. Um, so, Citro, Citrotide. <laughs> We're gonna call this Citro. Citro. These are already. These are already. I think these are already prepared. They're like auto injectors, and then you just change the, um, the little dial to according uh, to whatever your. Nope, I'm wrong. As you can tell, I just got the training this afternoon. And uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Yeah, so I was told you get the gold needle. See how it's so much more longer than the gray one? You get the gold one. Get the solution down here. So you'll get the gold one, get poke it into the solution, get that solution, poke it into the other one, this one right here that's the powder, and then this one you're not supposed to shake, this one she said you're supposed to do this kind of um, movement so that way the mixture can um, dilute and, and, and uh, I guess mix, and then you'll take off that yellow needle, um, that gold needle, put it in the um, biohazard container then get the gray one and that's the one that you'll be auto inject um, that's the one you'll be injecting and she'll say you know grab down here of course i got a lot going down here pop that thing in and we're good so that's that one but that's not the one i was i was thinking it was i guess it's this one that um no, not this either. I have no idea what this Ovidrill. I mean, we went over three medications today because I'll start on two Sunday. And okay, this is the one. Gonical. Forgive me if I'm like screwing up these names. So this one, this is the one that I was referring to. This is the auto injector. And what you do is, you take off the little pin cap, and that's where you'll put the little, um, these little needles. You would just screw it on, and bam, you're good to go. Here is where the zero's at, and so you'll change it to the dosage that you are there, and then you'll just inject which is pretty cool. I, I like that idea because I'm not liking that the idea of pulling up solution, mixing it. Um, I've never been a math person, and so I'm hoping that I won't mess up anything. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got today. And all this is gonna go refrigerated. Um, yeah, all of this will go refrigerated. Um, then it has a little instruction pouch, all the syringes, the needles. Um, so before I end this video, I do wanna show you what I've made because I did see some information on like Amazon and on the other YouTube videos of how to store your stuff. And as you can tell, this is not all my medication. I'm missing one more and then pills. Um, but this is a starter of what you would be, you know, looking into. And so it's all of this. And so I did print out a, um, copy of a calendar of how I'll be doing the medications and, um, when I'll have the ultrasounds and blood works. Um, so this is something that my, um, calendar looks like just for the doctor. Then on the back, I have my personal calendar 
which helps me so that way I won't overdo myself. If I know I'm going to have something that day, I'll look on the back and say, okay, I got something else going on that day. I don't want to overbook myself or, or, you know, if I just can't. I got this from the dollar store, 99 cents. It's just a clear little thing where you can put information in. I just kind of put my own little pizzazz to it. Um, piece and a little art. And then over here, I got this from Walmart. A little caddy. Again, a dollar. So this will be my like go-to caddy of what I'll be using, you know, on a daily. And then I got this little guy from Walmart for 10 bucks. Again, I added my own little twist to it. Just something to make it seem that it's not so ordinary. And up here, I'll have my uh, keepsake box and then my pills. The pill holder I got from Walmart for like three bucks. This will be for my syringes and stuff and medication. Um, just as needed medication. And the bottom one, got my heating and cold pack that is something that you're going to need especially after retrieval then if you have a headache from the medications you want something cold there it goes again from walmart and then i also got this heating pad again from walmart walmart is my friend walmart is my go-to um and so that's about it so this was just opening up my medications that i gotten today um i did have a hysteroscopy done a week and a half ago I did make a video so be sure to check that out if that's something that you're gonna have to go through um, I gave information right out of it so hopefully that will help someone my next video will be um, as I'm taking the actual medication wish me luck I start on Sunday and I'm excited and hopefully um, these videos will help someone else